A very warm welcome to the first virtual Year 11 information evening. My name is Mrs Donoghue and I'm delighted to be the head of Year 11. This is a very important time for your child as they prepare for the final GCSE year. Year 11 is one of the most exciting, challenging and important times of your child's education. This year, the students will continue in their journey to achieving their GCSEs or their BTEC qualifications that will act as a passport to success for the rest of their lives. Year 11 are now fully engrossed in their GCSE studies and that can be a very uneasy time for our students and their families. Tonight is just one of the ways that we want to work in partnership with parents and carers to continue to support and encourage our students during this crucial time. We will be sharing information with you that will help us to work together to ensure success for your son or daughter. Here at Cardinal Newman we have a wonderful team of tutors and support staff in Year 11. They were chosen specially to be the best people to support the students as they approach their exams. The tutor team provides extra intervention and revision for everyone on a bespoke programme and really ensure that our students get the very best pastoral care needed. We have been extremely overwhelmed and proud with how Year 11 have settled back into school life and we want to maintain their excellent work ethic and enthusiasm. As always, we are here to help with any issues or concerns, so please do not hesitate to get in touch for support. Year 11 are an amazing year group and I am looking forward to watching them grow and succeed throughout the year and I am very privileged to be their head of year. Best wishes to Year 11. So thank you for joining us tonight. There are three presentations that we're demonstrating. The first of those talks about what's happening during the year and also gives you an idea to have a look at mock examinations, members of staff, what we're doing to support Year 11 and how you can support at home. The second presentation is a presentation all about careers and just really giving you information about the sixth form open evening which will be coming up in December. The last of the presentations is from core subject leaders from English, Maths, Science and RE, really giving you a little bit of a heads up as the sort of thing that's happening and what can be done to support your child as they go throughout the year. We hope that this evening is useful and if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact any of the people who've been involved in the evening. Thank you. So hi, my name's Mr Versi and I'm an assistant head teacher at the school and I work with Year 11 predominantly. Uh, this presentation we're going to go through mock exams, key dates. I just want to go through really what students will be expecting to have throughout the course of the year. A lot of students have roughly around 37 hours of exams and time really, really goes quickly throughout the year. So really the vast majority of this is to help students with the coping strategies that are going to help them to make that progress and be successful. It's quite daunting. There are only 19 days now until the mock exams actually start and 23 school weeks we have left to be able to prepare the students for the exams, even though the government have actually pulled those exams a little bit later than normal. So what they do in the next coming weeks will really make a difference and support them in making that better progress towards the summer. So there are two sets of mock exams throughout the year. Uh, one of them is happening in December and students will have already received that information on Friday to prepare them for that. The second set will happen in February and actually now Ofqual have actually said that the published start time of those examinations will be delayed. There is an exam before half term. Instead of starting two weeks before the Whitson holidays, they will now mainly start afterwards. So the mock exams start from Monday the 30th of November and they run until Tuesday the 6th of December. This will be followed by two option practical assessment days and then a rewards day. We will then get the results distributed to the students on Thursday the 17th of December. So please do look out in your children's bags just to make sure that they have got those mock grades and they've brought those home. This will also include not only the mock grade but also a GCSE teacher forecast grade which will be the first one that we can do for the year. Now unfortunately because everything's a little bit different this year we can't take those exams in the normal exam sitting. 
So student exams will happen in classrooms, but they will be in strict exam conditions. And we have to be aware that we don't, haven't covered the entire of the curriculum yet. And so the exams will only cover a small proportion of it. Anybody who needs the additional time will also be informed and they'll be doing their exams in a separate location. So it's really important that during this time the students are well prepared and obviously as you can see there is a lot of equipment that we need to make sure that students are bringing. One of the things I would say is that a scientific calculator is needed most of the time and it's worth them just having it in their bag ready for any examination. So they've got a two week timetable. You can see the first week and you can see the second week and this information is in the packs that they've taken home. And you can see there are quite a lot of exams going on. Some days they will have two exams on every day. There's also two option practical days and during this time students will be preparing and working towards practical activities on the options that they would normally take. And then on Friday, hoping that the government will have reduced the restrictions and will be able to do a special rewards day just to celebrate all the hard work that they've been doing this term. So this is the pack that students will have had and it does have in it the timetable, it has some guidance, it has a personal target page and it also has weekly revision planners for them to fill in. It's well worth you going through that with your child before they work towards the examinations just so that you know and they know what they've got to do in time for this exam. And they're also then subject specific revision material and it has guidance and it has connections to all of the revision guides that were sent out in July. There's lots of different things about students thinking that they don't need to engage with revision but it is extremely important that they get to grips with it now. They need to start working we don't want to get to the point where students take an exam and they struggle within the exam because they don't know what's going on. They also need to have a really good idea about their time. They need to plan their time effectively. So using a revision timetable will really support them in making sure they're using their time effectively and reaching all of their subjects. So just um, to introduce, there are two people who work predominantly with Year 11. Uh, one of them is Mrs Donoghue, who is the head of year, and secondly, there's myself, I'm an assistant head teacher. So we work with Year 11 day in, day out. We also have tutors, and those tutors are contactable if you need to discuss any specific issues, or maybe on a wider context of work, or there are also heads of department, and all of their contact details are on the slide. Other people that you may uh, be aware of, we have uh, Mr. Wells, he's the TLC manager and Geraldine Isherwood, and they both work with students and they extract and work with them across the whole of the Year 11 group and across the whole of the school. If there are any concerns, you may have worked with them before, there is a direct line there that you can contact them or you can email them on the email address that's given. Hello, my name's Miss Goodwin and I am the Deputy Head at Cardinal Newman School, directly linked to Year 11 and Year 11 outcomes. As we're in an unprecedented time for all of us, with lots of variables, it has been really difficult to plan ahead in our lives generally. However, it's important that Year 11 students and their families have a very clear idea of the key dates that are coming up across the remainder of this um, important academic year. In particular, dates relating to mock exams, period six, and other revision sessions, and most importantly, the formal exams that take place in the summer term. You'll need to be aware of the key staff in school who are there to help and support both you and your child, the, the pastoral team, the leadership team, and also the sixth form and career staff. It's really important that you know who to contact with any concerns you may have, as the partnership between schools and students and parents and carers is absolutely essential for success. We know that it's very easy to feel overwhelmed in the final year of GCSEs and secondary school and it can be quite daunting for students and families. 
However, knowing what to expect and who to go to for help is absolutely crucial. So as you can see on this slide, we have obviously your new tutor team. So the tutor teams in year 11 are constructed of mainly heads of department and other key staff, such as maths, SLEs and extended leadership team. You've also got the health and wellbeing side of the pastoral care, which is life hacks and that as well will support your child with managing stress, looking at mental health and well-being. We have a tailored tutor intervention session as well that goes on um, for half hour twice a week. And this prioritises key subjects and revision skills every single week. They go over those things together. We have a tutor mentoring sessions where appropriate throughout the year. This usually takes place when we have mock examinations and various members of the school team will pick up students in year 11 who we feel and who parents feel might need that extra level of support. Obviously, it's crucial that we have lots of links throughout the year that are calendared for parents. Usually, we would have um, consultations evening and takeaway evening. Obviously, in these unprecedented times, having parents on site may be difficult. However, we will readjust our plans should we need to across the year. But we do make sure that we will contact you. You'll be aware of your child's progress and we will most likely do videos such as this one to enable you to get a a taste of what's coming up on mock examinations and how best to support your child with exams. And then absolutely preparing the students to be exam ready. So already this year we've had Positively Madden, which are a bespoke revision company that have been very successful with previous year groups. We'll be doing revision sessions with the leadership team on how to revise and those things will be uh, shared with students across the year to make sure that we're building those skills accordingly. I believe that the tutors can be contacted and that you've already had those emails previously in this presentation. Mrs Donoghue is always there to help and for any students with a SEND particular need then obviously Miss Bev is there so those emails are at the bottom of that slide. On this slide, you'll be able to see some of the academic support that we provide for Year 11 students across the year. We regularly meet, usually on a fortnightly basis, to review Year 11 data. That would include also behaviour data, um, punctuality, praise, just to make sure that we have a very clear picture of where our Year 11 students are um, going. Mock booklets are provided throughout the year also. These lead up to the examinations when we have formal mock exams and they would include focused revision tasks and key information that will feature on the mock exam in order to prepare students adequately. We have timetabled walking talking mocks which means that we would guide the students through an examination. Teachers will model the thought process of how to answer the questions, how to approach the paper, just really the thought process behind it. And they have are timetabled throughout the year. Period six lessons, which are those extra revision sessions that take place until four o'clock each week. We look at personal learning checklists. The students have just had one of those generated from their baseline assessments that they did um, earlier on in this academic year and they help to focus what the gaps in learning are so that students know which bits they need to revise as a priority. We provide bespoke revision materials through our departments as well as revision guides that we've already purchased and they've already been shared with students as well. Class charts and homework um, such as Hegarty Maths, Seneca provide extra homework and revision for students throughout the year. We aim to put on, although obviously this is really reliant on what happens with COVID, but half term sessions, Easter sessions, Saturday sessions, just to give the students that extra revision time with somebody at school. We provide independent study spaces. Really, now that COVID is in place, we have a whole dedicated year 11 block. So students will be able to go in before their examinations and use those classrooms to study independently. Wherever they're is coursework in a subject. We provide days where students can catch up on coursework and work with a member of staff. We usually do a takeaway evening in March following mock exams. We will look at an alternative way to provide that should the COVID restrictions still be in place. Consultation evenings, revision workshops and regularly meeting with parents where we feel that intervention is needed and then obviously the SEND resources in student support liaison with the student support team where we see appropriate.
As well as the academic support that we provide at Cardinal Newman, we also provide those extra things that help to make Year 11 a little less stressful and a little bit more fun. So we aim to make sure that all the students have a Leavers hoodie, which is a design that we put together with the students, all their names on of class of 2021. We pr- will be putting together a Leavers yearbook this year and also some Leavers photos and our annual Leavers video, which is a collation of pictures and videos and work that they've produced from when they were in year seven right the way through their Cardinal Newman journey as well as a a, a end of year maths which last year we were unable to do um, in school with parents it was virtual um, and a prayer service and again we used lots of pictures and images and videos from their time at Cardinal Newman. We also make sure that we put together some Leavers Awards. Um, These would usually take place at prom however we're unable to state at this point where whether we would be able to do a prom or not it's unlikely at the at the moment but obviously with covid things will change and we will always keep you informed as i've said parental support and parental engagement with the school and that partnership is absolutely crucial for the success of year 11 students just at home we do recommend that students are provided with somewhere that they can work it doesn't necessarily have to be their own bedroom but just a place at home where they can study in a suitable way students will happily sit there with their mobile phone and any other electronic devices which are very distracting in some ways unless they're being used for academic purposes so it might be a good idea for parents to establish some ground rules when mock um, revision actually take place so things like no mobile phones and no social networking sites whilst revision is taking place is is really useful doing it somewhere where there are no distractions so television music people somewhere where they can work alone that's not always easy at home particularly in the covid situation but it might be that Um, students can work upstairs when other people are downstairs Um, just a recommendation that that helps to support students with the focus that's required for positive revision another thing that's really important is somewhere for them to store all their resources as we're in covid we're unable to allow students to have things coming in and out of school on a regular basis so a lot of the revision material that we provide um, is going home so folders and equipment and places to store resources is really absolutely crucial we sent home before the summer holidays revision guides for most subjects um, which are really relevant for the examinations that will be coming up in the summer so students have had those already in July they'll be receiving additional resources from the departments um, from all the different subject areas as the year progresses so we do need to make sure that those things are kept so that they can be used effectively by students at home any letters booklets or school correspondence we will in this current climate aim to make sure that those things go out electronically but when we do send things home with students it's a good idea to just keep those safe together so that you know when things are coming up of course we will remind you through the school systems such as expressions and text messages Another really crucial aspect to something that parents can do at home to support Year 11 students is to make sure that students get enough rest. It's very easy for students to cram before examinations, work until early hours in the morning. However, the body needs rest and to be able to focus and sleep so that they are not distracted when they are doing their exams at school. It's a good idea. I recommend this Um, for any parents really mobile phones tablets xbox controllers it's a good idea to take those in the evening particularly in the school week so that students aren't tempted to go on late in the night distracted by electronic devices sport and exercise we're allowed to do those things as well um, during covid just getting some fresh air going outside taking a break from revision is also really crucial so sleep avoiding distractions and making sure that they get time outside to alleviate that stress is is vital really. Other things that you can do at school to make sure that your child is successful, first and foremost, attendance and being on time. So please do encourage your child to attend school every single day. There are 
23 weeks left to go until the exams start and that's school weeks and missing lessons will have an impact on outcomes, particularly with time missed since March. Obviously, we appreciate that COVID um, will have an impact, especially if students have to go into isolation, in which case it's really important that parents do check class charts and Microsoft Teams because work will be going home for students that are isolating. It's not an expectation if they're ill, but if they're isolating and that they continue with that work and that work is presented to their teachers and feedback is provided. Encouraging your child to be on time, five minutes late every day equals 3.8 hours lost until the examination starts. So that time in the morning to get settled and ready for the school day is absolutely crucial. Just on the days of the examinations, it's important that students make sure that they have breakfast and they've got lunch and that they're ready. They've got a clear water bottle, the label removed, so that they are well fueled for the examinations. And that's important please note that the mock exams start on the 30th of November. And then finally, just to reiterate, school contact. If you need any support or any guidance or advice, please do contact us. I've, I've already outlined the email addresses that you can contact at any time. Please also engage with any parental sessions that we do put on. Takeaway evening, whether it's virtual or we meet face to face. If you're invited for a specific meeting or it is just to come and um, have a look and collect resources, be great if to see you there and we can have a chat and discuss um, any issues that you feel might be arising with your child. If we do invite you in for a meeting, you please do attend, please do come. Um, we will always try and make it at a time where it's suitable for both you and us. Um, but the most important thing is that we want to support your child throughout this year. So if we do ask you for a meeting, please do attend and we can work together and come up with any solutions that we can for your child. Also, any updates that we may have would come out through our normal channels, which would be our newsletter and our school website. But we also do have a very active Facebook and Twitter account. So please Please do keep an eye out for any updates on those particular areas. So the key to getting the best results for GCSE, there's no secrets, it is hard work. So students and parents and the school working together, it's going to be hard work but together we can make sure that we provide as much support as possible for the students. There's no two ways about it. Hard work is going to be crucial over the next 23 weeks. A positive attitude, being self-motivated and enthusiastic um, is also crucial. We will obviously challenge anything that we think isn't a student hasn't done their best, but we will always do it in a way where we try to encourage them to make those positive changes. Attendance and punctuality, being at school, being here, being on time wherever possible um, will always lead to success rather than students not being here. Working together, teamwork, you letting us know if there's any issues, us letting you know if there's any issues as well is crucial. As I've already said, being really organised at school, having folders for different subjects, having an area to store those folders and then making sure that you're supporting your child by checking up on the deadlines on class charts for homework, etc. That is also really vital. Actually completing the homework set too, making sure that your child, if they start to get homework points, please contact us. There might be an issue. We'll be able to talk that through, but you'll be aware when your child is not completing any homework. Students must really not be afraid to ask for help. If you know that your child is struggling in a particular area, then they're not willing to speak to the member of staff or anybody else. It would be great if you could contact us as well and let us know so that we can work together to sort that out. Finally, test, practice and stretch. A regular revision is better than doing it all in one go at the very, very end. Chunking it down, having a regular routine, you know, having a certain amount of time each evening to do a, a certain amount of work and making sure that those rest times are already also built in so that students don't become aware. Those things are absolutely crucial. And then finally, what we expect from our students is for them to do their best. That's all we can ask from them. And with your help, we can do the best for your students and make sure that they get the best results possible. But please do contact us if you feel that you need any additional support.